Okay, now I think we ran out of bobbin thread, which is we need to press the pause and we need to fill up a, a new bobbin. So, and then we'll just go back and find our new spot. So All you right, ready to so do that? Here we go. And I'll find a new bobbin. Oh, now we get to demonstrate how to do a new start end. So, so normally you would always check your bobbin to make sure you have a full bobbin, but we want to make sure you know how to do this. So we kind of staged this. What? Oh, okay. So we didn't. <laughs> but you know, if your thread broke, you'd still have to figure this out. So we've replaced our bobbin, and now we need to, because it stitched past that before it stopped a little right, bit. Right, right, clear down to here. So, so you go ahead and show us what to do. We're going to go to quilt and new start end. And I have Let's the... Let's turn off your ch needle check there. Okay, I've positioned the needle right where I ran out of thread. I'm back about two stitches maybe. And I'm just going to press start auto and that activates it and then I'm going to press it again so that it stays there. So when you did that, I noticed on the screen that there's an orange circle and that's the resume of where it stopped. But what you need is the green circle to go to where your crosshair is, which represents where your needle is on the fabric, right? Right. So I'm going to cancel what's already going on here so that I can just press run and it will start right where I... Okay, and it'll leave that green bullet right there at your beginning. Okay. okay. Marie has a different way of doing it than I do. So you press the cancel and then it puts you back to the run where your green bullet is. I would have pressed the tie off to activate that and the pull up and it would have done it right there. So that's two different ways of doing it. Neither one is wrong, neither one is you know, huh? it's however you like to do it. Okay. So this is the way you do it, and I would have done it the other way, and then it would have resumed. It doesn't matter because we can both quilt. All right. All right, let's go. All right. So you go ahead and press run again, and it's going to start as if it was starting the design, but it's in a new location. So it did your pull up. Move to side. And then we'll resume. It'll do a tie off. So it'll tie off and lock in those last two stitches from the previous stitching because she moved, because that's where your resume was going to. And you won't even know that there was a thread break. Now you may on this because of this cream fabric, but we're doing this so you can really see the design. All right, it's good to go. So we're going to just go ahead. We're going to let this stitch out all the way to the to the right side and then we'll do an advance of the fabric.